My name is Chris Cox. I'm with the Advanced Solutions Group for United Rentals. One of the projects we've been working on for the last two years is a frictionless, a frictionless experience for collecting consumables. Right? So think about nuts, bolts, wires, personal protective equipment, things of that nature. Stuff you're not going to return, right? Without a person to authenticate an individual, without a person to check out specific quantities to an individual, you authenticate at the door, you walk in, grab whatever it is you need, walk out, and it'll automatically bill the individual for the items that they took or send a report, anybody you designate. Daily, weekly, monthly report of inventory levels, what was removed by who, when. It's nice too because it'll also email your jobbers. So if inventory items get down to a certain level, threshold, pre-specified by you, it'll email your jobber for a refill of that inventory. So they'll come in with their own code, they'll put it in, and the trainer will actually tell them exactly how much of what and where to put it. So they just walk in, they refill the inventory as they leave. As soon as this is set in place, right, and the initial inventory has been put in the container, it'll self-maintain itself. It'll maintain itself the whole time you have it on the work site. If you don't change product, it's just put in place and forget, which is great. It's wonderful. So I'm going to explain a little bit about the technology real fast, and then as you enter and get the experience yourself, you'll meet with Steve again, who was introduced at the beginning, and he'll answer any specific questions you might have. This particular unit was built on PIN code or RFID access. You should have a card on the back of your, should be on the back of your name tag, right? Those have already been um, set up for access to this particular Connex. You'll swipe, and as soon as you enter, there's 12 cameras in the ceiling that begin a skeletal profile of you as an individual. No two skeletons are the same, from the top of your head, to your toes, to the tips of your fingers. Everybody's joints and lengths of particular arms and static areas is different, right? So it builds that. So we can have simultaneous shoppers in here, right? We've had as many as 20 people in an individual 20-foot context, a little beyond fire code, but it was for testing purposes shopping simultaneously you can't move a whole lot but they took whatever they wanted off the shelves and left and with greater than 99.9 percent .9 accuracy was able to label that individual with what they took and how much down to the n95 mask it's really sensitive so the scales and or the shelves themselves are scaled right down to about two grams per individual item but we can figure we can configure that depending upon what you want to stop in a particular trade we have floor pallet scales that go up to as much as 6,000 pounds. And we also have microgram scales, depending on for smaller items like nuts and bolts if you want to track individuals, right? We'll have you authenticate, we'll have you enter, begin that skeletal profile. The far shelves are set up for demonstration. So what you might see typically on a job site, based on what phase you're in, right? It's got some PPE, some glasses, some nuts and bolts. That's for display. As far as the, the technology that, that Chris went through with the access management, um, also the camera systems, the weighted shelf technology, is there anything that comes to mind about this that, that uh, you may have questions about? The skeletal system, yeah. the identification system seems really interesting. Are there any privacy uh, concerns about that? Not any privacy concerns right now because we're not taking any facial recognition or anything like that biometrically. We're just taking, every, everybody's structure, skeletal structure is different. So that's the only thing that we're doing when we start a session. So when you badged in, you started that unique session and it's following each one of us in here just in the skeletal structure of your body. No facial recognition or anything like that. There are eight different products on the shelf and each one of them can weigh different weights. And we'll know exactly where it's at because there's a software program we use to tell everything where it lives on the shelf. So I mentioned predictive evaluation earlier. So the system knows that all of us are in here and it's following us just by the skeletal structure as I mentioned earlier. But the predictive evaluation is if I go and I grab this item off the shelf right here, these, these earplugs, back earplugs, because we told everything where to live on the shelf and how much it weighs, we've taken pictures of every product, the camera systems also understand where I'm reaching on the shelf. So when I picked up these earplugs, the technology knows what these masks weigh and where they're located, what these knee pads weigh and where they're located, what these glasses are and everything around it. So that's why the accuracy level is so great, is because it's using the weighted technology plus the camera systems.